Okay, so this, I'm going to talk about the new high-performance shortboard that we have, and it's called the Highline. And this is something that I developed with my team riders all around the world in the last year. Um, we worked a lot on the details of this board and had just really good feedback from all my team everywhere. Um, so basically what I did is I took an older board model, which is the 74. Everybody that gets it really liked it. So my thoughts on that were, I like the rocker a lot, the 74 rocker. It's the board that Dane Reynolds chose as his favorite board in Stab in the Dark in 2016, which is already five years ago. So the board felt a little dated to me, um, how it looked, the outline. So I took the same rocker, the 74 rocker, and I updated the outline of the board mostly where I switched, I, I changed the nose curve a little bit. I widened it a hair to be something that was more like reflective of how I like my boards to look these days. And um, I moved the hip a little bit back and the wide point got shifted just a hair forward. It's still behind center, but it's a little bit more forward than the 74 was. A lot of people ask me about the high line now, comparing it to the radius because those are our two, like if you put them next to each other, they're not too far apart. High performance shortboards, pointy noses, uh, squash tails, thrusters. Um, so the biggest difference is in the rocker in those boards. And the radius has a lot of curve. It's our most curvy shortboard overall. And what that does, that curve is really nice for pockety, like bowly waves. But when you get out onto like a fat shoulder on a wave, that board does not hold its speed very well because that curve wants to sink down into the wave when it goes slow. Um, so the, that's the radius. The high line has a lot less curve through the tail and it has a similar nose rocker. It actually has a hair more nose rocker, but less tail rocker. And what the whole combo with the, with the concaves and everything through it, it has a single to double, and then it's just a real flat off the tail. Um, that combination really helps this board keep its speed in weaker waves. And so if you have a board that still is nice and snappy in pockets, but it carries its speed, when you hit that dead spot in a wave, this board's gonna carry through it better. Or if you're just surfing a mushier beach break kind of wave or something that's a little bit slower, the High Line has a lot more speed overall, just easy speed and carry, which is like something that gets you through those bad spots into that next section. Um, the thing is real basic, same thing as all the other short boards that we make. The, the has a basic like real foiled out nose, nice curve, um, nice little hit through the tail, nice squash tail, you get it. Jack Freestone actually really likes his wrap tail, but um, most of us stock them for squash tails. Uh, one thing about the High Line that you might notice in stores is a lot of them, we're, we're not putting carbon on them anymore and, uh, in the tails for reinforcement. And what we've done is we've switched that out with just a clear fiberglass reinforcement in the toe and the heel. And that provides great structure so you're not crushing your crushing your rails through your tail, getting tail cancer. But the nice thing about that is instead of getting carbon and adding stuff onto it, we're using literally the cut scraps from the cloth. The guys are going to throw it away. Instead, they cut out their patches and my glassers put that here. So you have, it's an invisible reinforcement, but it is there. Um, I personally really like the look of it with no carbon. I'm kind of sick of seeing boards with carbon on them. And uh, starting with the high line, it might spread out further. So anyways, that's it. The new high performance shortboard.